Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in the previous video, we have successfully created a simple routing with Scratch without using any library. Now in this video, we will start installing the view router library, which is a version 4 right now at the current time of recording. And we will uh, start with a simple, we'll create the same thing which we have did it uh, without using the library. We'll try to achieve the same thing with the library. And we'll try to learn one by one the concepts and all those things. So let's start. So we already have the existing project, right? So this is the project and I am creating a new branch. That is nothing but the current video is video hyphen 53, the same branch. So if you want to get this code, you can get it from through this branch. Fine. Now let's install the library. So here I am trying to install the library. So for installing this library, so view router means nothing but where we can find it is view router so you can search for this one in the google so this is the view router official router for the js and here if you try to see view router the official router for view js and if you click on the get started here you will be able to see the npm install view router okay let's copy this one and in the project remember in the project so we are existing we are right now in the view router project in this project we need to run this command so just simply press enter and this will execute it will take some time and it will be automatically added in the package.json also i will show you so let it install the router library has been successfully installed if you open this one here in the package.json if you try to see here in the package.json we are able to see that view the current version at the time of this recording we are able to see the 3.3.2 and the view router 4.2.1 has been installed so fine so we are able to get the view and the view router. Now what we need to do? So rerun the command npm run dev. So we are running the command and we'll see is there any changes. So if you go here and if you try to run localhost, nothing is changed. Why? Because we haven't written anything. So we have just installed the library and now we need to write the code. So how we can write the code? Let's go to the main.js. So here, this is the scratch. And instead of having this mount and all those things, I am storing in one variable. And here instead of chaining, I'm using it like this. So this is also one and the same only. So first we need to define the routes. So routes, so here in this library, we need to create as an array of object. The so first property key is the path. So which is a ho slash home. And the component we need to load is the home. And the second route, what we need to do is, so we already have the same thing, right? So slash about slash about and the component we need to load is component we need to load is about so the last one is the not found thing we'll discuss about these all the things so path and here i can write something like path match okay so dot star we can use it so anything that matches so here we need to load the component not found that's it so we need to import these all the components import home from pages sorry pages slash home dot view the same scenario about and not found so here i can use about and here i can use not found and here we'll be having about and here i can have not found so these are the components we have loaded the components so now routes is there what we need to do First, we need to create the router. So we have a method available in the view router. So we need to import it from the view router, this method. And create router takes the argument as an object. So in this object, the first property we need to mention is the history. So history, we have a method that is nothing but create web app history. We'll discuss about this one. And the next one, we need to pass the routes. That's it, finished. So this one, we can save it in one variable, constant router. Okay. And here to the app, we need to pass app dot use of router. That's it. So this is, that's it. This is all about the routing concept. So we have implemented the routing. Now let's go to the app dot view. So this is the basic thing which we have developed it from the scratch. So this all the code is not needed. Why? Because everything in the main.js we have written that all everything will take care by the create a router and all those things. Now this component dynamic component is also not needed. So we have a special uh, built-in component in the view router router view so we router view we need to use it 
and here instead of using this anchor link we have a another component that is nothing but router link and here you can write the home and here we can use to slash and the another one what we will be having is the about so which will go to about slash about and the last one will be having the not found and which will go to some other place so that's it so we can remove this one so we have created a simple routing thing now if i try to execute this code so let's refresh this page we are able to see the same code and if i click on this one see we are able to make it work successfully so the, with, by using the view router library we can also able to create a simple routing page home about and not found also so as many pages whatever the pages you want you can create it and add a route and you can use it so very easy right we by using the view router library so by using this view router library we can create it very very easily what we have did it so first you need to install this view router plugin okay view router library fourth library and in the app.view sorry not in the app.view in the main.js you need to create a routes it's an area of object which takes path and the component still some more are there we'll try to learn it one by one and the another one is so we need to create a router which takes an argument that is nothing but an object and here we'll be having history and we need to pass these routes and we need to use it as a plugin app.use of router that's it and in the app.view so we are using this router link and router view so this router view acts as a gateway so whatever the component uh, this page is loading so this component will be loaded in the place here so this is how we will be creating a simple routing library and what i will try to do is so let's save this one all code so i have created a branch and i will commit this code okay so video hyphen 52 uh, view router library Okay, I am I am installing. I am sorry. I am committing this all the code in the video iPhone 53. I am publishing this branch also. Not a problem. And if you go here in the GitHub, so GitHub.com slash yeah here in the view composition router. So I will provide this one. So why I am trying to tell you is so video iPhone 53. If you want to get this code, so you can move to this branch video iPhone 53 directly. And here in this video iPhone 53 you can take the code so you can clone it or you can download it anything whatever you want and you can take it and you can do this npm install npm run dev and then it is ready to work it will be working so this is the video fn53 and if you want the updated code means you can go to the main so it will contain the updated code so whatever the video i am trying to tell in this routing so you can go to that particular video fn5253 like that branch and you can check this code so this is all about the thing which i want to explain you hope you understood about this uh, installing the view router library and creating a view router pages if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you